Whenever you see anything about space exploration or astronauts, there's always a huge cool element to it. Cool rockets, cool gadgets. Maybe the suits could use a little tailoring, but look, that's just me. Some of the technology that makes it up into space also finds its way into our homes here on Earth. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Seriously, those space suits could be a little less puffy. When NASA needs to land a rover on Mars or send an exploring satellite to Jupiter and beyond, they rely on the scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, to find ways to make it happen. JPL's primary mission is the robotic exploration of space. And from the technologies that are developed from those missions, uh, we transfer that technology out to the private sector. I was invited to visit JPL in Pasadena, California and meet technology transfer specialist Deborah Wolfenbarger to learn more about the innovations we use every day that were first developed for uses in space. Well, our technologists, a lot of times, even though they're, they are developing these technologies for space applications, they've already identified a commercial market. So they've got an idea in mind where else this technology Oftentimes could go. Oftentimes they do, yes. One of the technologies that the public is probably most familiar with is the infrared air thermometer. And we use infrared sensors to sense the heat off of stars and planets out in the universe. So using those principles, we sense the heat that's coming off of your eardrum. And that's how it can gauge your temperature. What else do we have? Eagle eye sunglasses. These sunglasses came about after JPL scientists turned to nature in search of a solution to one of the biggest problems astronauts encounter in space harmful radiation and ultraviolet rays that could permanently damage their eyes. The lenses were developed after studies were done on the eyes of birds of prey. Birds of prey have excellent vision. They have droplets of oil in their eyes that actually shield and protect them from the harmful sun rays. JPL replicated the bird's eye oil in the lab and used it to coat the protective visors on astronauts' space helmets. The technology was then transferred to everyday sunglasses. So in addition to providing protection from your, for your eyes from radiation, this also helps sharpen your vision by reducing the glare. Correct. Now, do birds of prey also have this annoying tag in front of them? No, they do not. <laughs> but the JPL innovation that changed the world is this, the camera on a chip. Developed by Eric R. Fossum and a team of JPL scientists in the early 1990s, Today, it's endemic to every smartphone, laptop, and car camera in the world. We caught up with Dr. Fossum at Dartmouth College, where he's now a professor of engineering. Well, the main goal that we had at that time was to try to take these giant cameras that were very big and try to shrink them down into something that was maybe this size. And the reason is, is that on a spacecraft, mass is practically everything as far as launch goes. We knew that if we could integrate a lot of other electronics onto the same chip, we could make the entire camera system smaller. Dr. Fossum's biggest thrill? Seeing the entire world use an idea he had at JPL over 20 years ago. Well, I'm very happy that you're using my technology to uh, record this interview. It's also mind-boggling that that would actually happen. That I did not predict. 